Hey, what's going on everyone? Ant Pruitt here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Want to do a quick rundown of the um, Ubuntu Touch developer preview operating system. Um, they released this last week, I believe, and you can load it up on current Nexus devices, uh, Android Nexus devices. I am now running this on my um, Nexus 7 tablet. I'm going to do my best to try to keep this camera somewhat steady and let you see the screens. Um, it's pretty nice as an operating system. It's um, definitely buggy right now because it is a developer preview, but it gives you a little bit of an insight of things to, to come for the far as this operating system goes. And it's nice to know that there's, you know, there's going to be some competition out there in the mobile mobile space, you know. There's not just Android, it's not just iOS, there's not just Windows or Blackberry. But having someone else in this just to, you know, try to make a little noise might be good for competition and help the consumers in the long run. But anyway, this is the uh, rundown of the screen here. This is the home screen. No, it's not 6.13 a.m. when I'm making this video. The time is a static time zone setting that I'm not able to change at this time, but it's okay. And you notice this has this 14 tweets received notification here. That's not mine either. There's no Twitter account associated with this for right now. Um, again, that's something I believe they just put out there for the developers to see, to say, hey, we can put something in this and use it for um, whether it's emails received, text received, or even app notifications of some sort. So, But to get into this machine, you get into it by um, just swiping it. So I'm going to swipe it from the right side and we're in, and this is the home screen here. And it's a very pretty interface. The icons sort of remind me of the iOS icons, how they're sort of bubbly looking. Um, you have your frequent apps used, favorite people, people or contacts, of course, people recently in touch and whatnot. Now, all of these people that are listed here, these are not any contacts of mine. These were already baked into this developer preview. I don't know who this chick is. I definitely don't know who this dude in the nautical cap is. Um, anyway, and then it has a lot of things for multimedia as far as music and video goes. It, the Ubuntu desktop Linux operating system is now scraping Amazon to allow uh, like music and video content to get from Amazon. So I got a feeling they're sort of doing the same thing with the mobile side of it. I don't know what Jake Bug is or Scooter, but I'm assuming these are popular musicians. Um, videos are down here. I noticed one says Adele and Lane somebody. I have no idea. But again, I got a hunch this is just their way of saying, hey, we can give you all of this cover art that links over to something on Amazon and it allows you to view it, listen to it, play it, what have you. Now, none of these things are working right now. Um, like if I click on recent music, even though I haven't played any music, that's not gonna do anything. Because again, this is just developer preview. And like your current smartphones or mobile um, operating systems, you have multiple home screens and you just swipe through. This is your main apps here. Of course, there's only a handful there videos and I think there's one more over here somewhere people oh people and music so people is your contacts and it gives you I guess different transactions or um, records with those contacts as far as history and music I like this operating system so far. It seems very, very fluid. When I've seen other videos of it, it seemed a little sluggish when the people try to go from screen to screen. I'm not having any issues with that on my Nexus 7. Um, anyway, some of the apps that are quote unquote installed. Here you have an Amazon app, eBay calculator, and so forth, even a little Twitter app. Not all of these work. The Twitter app does work. It looks just like your web interface that you see. Um, this multimedia player here does absolutely nothing. It opens up, but it just turns into a black screen. And of course I got to close out of that. And so even the close button isn't necessarily 
friendly in this preview. But you can get out of it. All right. Uh, what else? These down here are available for download. Popular apps such as Evernote and Pinterest and YouTube. Again, there's no so-called store right now to get these from so I can't really download them so if I click on them nothing's gonna happen but again that's just something to tell the developers hey we can work this into the system if you guys want to play around and see what else can be offered up to the consumer notification bar is very similar to Android and iOS where you can swipe it down and see things the difference is there's about four or five different sections of it so there was the message section as i barely pull down if i drag to the right i get to the sound section a little more to the right i get the network section as you can see i'm connected to my wi-fi and it does let me get online on the browser battery and date and time settings speaking of the date and time again i can't change the time zone it says i'm in london right now Folks that know me personally know I am not in London. And if you don't know me personally, listen to my voice. Do I sound like I'm in London? Okay. Now, one more thing about the notification bar. Instead of the dragon that I did there, you can just tap the top of it. And it gets you to another device menu. Uh, these things, would I'm assuming, would allow you to change different notification sounds and hop into other menus like the network menu that I was already in and whatnot. Seems like a quick access menu similar to the um, Android menu that's out on version 4.2.2. Okay, and enough of that. Uh, Ubuntu currently has a little, I guess you can say, uh, infamous feature on it. I like it. It's called the Unity Bar. The folks that are Linux purists, they don't necessarily like the Unity Bar in Ubuntu. And what it is, is like a quick launcher bar on the uh, desktop version of it. They've implemented it into Ubuntu Touch. And to access it, you just swipe from the left. And that's it there. That's the Unity bar. But of course, I grabbed an app, so let's get out of there. Okay. But you swipe to the left to access it, and you can run your finger up and down to grab whatever application you're trying to go to. Okay. Uh, the camera, I don't think it works on this. I mean, yeah, it pops up, but the Nexus 7 only has a front-facing camera, and it's looking at me, and it still can't see me, so it doesn't work either. And to get out of this, to get out of most of the applications, it uses gesture controls just from swiping from the bottom up, and you get that little power button-looking icon there. And you get a bunch of other little different options for each application, whether it's the browser or the camera in this case. But most of the time, these little options here do not work. They're just placeholders, I guess. But just to bail out, you hit the X there to close them. It's supposed to, anyway. See, it's not perfect. But they'll get it right eventually. I'll just go back to multitask function. But, um, yeah, that's it. I, I like this OS. It's got a long way to go to be ready for the consumers. But... I'm more impressed with it hands-on versus the videos that I've seen in the past with this. Like I said, when I saw, especially like the folks on XDA developers with it, it just looked really, really sluggish. You know, you drag to go to the next screen and it was just, just stuttering along. But here, I just push it and it goes, you know. Does really well. Long way to go, but a lot of potential. Um... I look forward to see what they do, they as in the Ubuntu folks, to see what they do with this thing as far as this multimedia goes here. I hope it looks really good. I mean, I like this interface. It's sort of in your face and easy to get through. You know, it, it's almost idiot proof, you know, videos, featured videos, cover flow look there and everything, man. I, I really, really, really like that. But that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this little quick overview of Ubuntu Touch developer preview. I'm not sure when the release date is on this, but I look forward to it. And um, if you want to try to try this application, not application, if you want to try this operating system out, you just look up Ubuntu Touch online. I'll put some links in this video and it has a nice tutorial that will walk you through flashing your Nexus device 
to get this on there and then when you want to go back to Android you can flash it back to Android okay I'm Ant Pruitt I hope you guys are doing well thank you for watching this video be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel I appreciate all of the support and I hope to talk to you soon peace